Hello saviors and welcome, my name is Sarevar24 and today I'm going to be playing a new game for you called Mighty Number no. 9. I have been waiting for this game to come out for the last couple of years. Probably for the last three years actually, now that I think about it. But this game is supposed to be somewhat similar to Mega Man and I liked playing the Mega Man game. The first Mega Man I actually ever played was Mega Man X, and from there on I played different varies, uh, variations of the Mega Man series, and it was a lot of fun. I really liked it, and Mega Man 9 is kind of like a remake of a dying legend. Mega Man has been reborn onto Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Wii U uh, as one of the latest characters to be created, but he hasn't had his own game for quite some time. At least not in his uh, standard form. I mean, he's had some variations, but not a lot of them. And he's kind of died off from s since then. I don't know what his last game series was, but it is kind of teetering a little bit, if I, if I am correct. But this is uh, Mighty Number no. 9 is a, a practically a remake of Mega Man himself. And is basically a new hashed out version of what once was a really great character and still is to this day really famous character at that but mighty number no. nine takes a slight spin off it takes a slight general spin off of the game and actually adds some different features while it's still remaining to the original gameplay in fact mighty number no. nine is actually helped out by the original producer of mega man himself so it's kind of easy to see why the parallels are so similar I'm going to go ahead and just start a new game, and we're going to jump right into it to see what happens. NBCA. That looks like an arena with a cog on top of it. Robotic technology have ushered in a new era of peace and prosperity. Violence is confined to the Battle Coliseum, where robot combatants face off in spectacular duels. Today, the Coliseum walls once again echo with the shouts and cheers of excited fans. When suddenly, oh hi, there's number nine. And if you didn't notice on the billboard that back there, that was the other uh, eight that was shown. <laughs> Taking a slight uh, spin from the original Mega Man warping system. Hi. Professor. Ah, Beck. And functioning normally, it would appear. What on earth has happened? It's chaos everywhere. Well, well, we won't figure it out here. We must make for the laboratory and quickly. Beck, you forge ahead. And clear a secure path. I'll follow and monitor your progress. I'm guessing on that laptop on your belt right there. Okay, so... Okay, so the controls are a little bit different. Oh, what the... Okay, uh... Oop, hi. He doesn't have a charge shot like Mega Man does. Once again, the president has declared a countrywide state of emergency. Again? This based on reports of haywire robots rampaging out of control in all 52 states. 52? I'm told we have a comment from Gregory Graham, CEO of Cherry Dynamics. Cherry Dyn, of course, being the world's leading robot manufacturer. Let's go there now, live. Attention, <laughs> attention, is this thing on? <clears throat> My fellow Americans, in this time of crisis, we at Cherry Dine would just like to express that this isn't our fault. It's that Dr. Blackwell. He's the one behind this. Blame him! <clears throat> we at Cherry Dine are doing all we can to help fix the situation. It's Blackwell. Hello, is this thing on? Avi? <clears throat> and now let's go 
live to our eye in the sky, Avi, for today's Avi News Traffic Report. Thanks, Avi. As you can see, we've got a few accidents eastbound on, well, everywhere! There's supposed to be a new system in this game where I'm able to kind of... Hi? So I'm kind of getting this. Oop. Not really. Ooh. Okay. So this is interesting. I don't just destroy the robots. I got to dash into them. Shots, huh? Woohoo! Hello! Hey, what the? Hey! Oh, hi! What's this? I got something new, but I don't know what I got. missing Hi Bring it on. This is interesting I like how they oh introduced the new mechanics of it Oh hi somehow okay this is definitely interesting haha -ha! are, are these robots like shaped like trash cans what is going on here crap I can shoot these but gosh it's difficult to do so Ah, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's more like it. Okay, so I'm using it's got me Xbox controller shown, but I don't have an Xbox controller. Miserably failing right now. Here we go. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Ow. Here we go. This definitely has a generic feel of Mega Man to it with a bit of of a new twist. 
Oh, what? Hi! I kind of skipped through the dialogue there, but okay. Round digger, height, weight, Zell? I wonder what Zell is. Probably it's health. Ah! I just do what did I just do to it did I like, clear out its thing okay so I got a B rank on that one I got a few achievements as well this is this has an interesting twist to the Mega Man cine uh, cinematics oh hi numbers well based on empirical evidence i believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around crikey it's like every bot in america went completely nuts all at once let me contact my brother at the head office in tokyo maybe he can send help um somehow i feel like that's not gonna happen I'm sorry suichiro please understand the Japanese government won't let us intervene until we know the cause of the malfunctions. Well, that's kind of BS, isn't it? Hmm. I was afraid of that, but it makes sense. After all, any robots you send to help could be affected as well, making things oh. even worse. Just to confirm, Mr. Sanda, if we can isolate the cause of the robot rampage, we'll send aid? Absolutely, Professor White. Anything we can do. Did you have a plan in mind? Yes. We'll send Beck to track down all his fellow mighty numbers. Great idea. Wait, what? <laughs> his assimilation ability should filter any irregularities from his siblings' programming. If we can gather and study multiple samples, perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The fate of the entire country hangs in the balance. I'll finish reactivating call so she can provide support. Let's get to it. Call, huh? Okay, so these... All right, hold on. Professor, I, uh... Not to worry, Beck. This is well within your capabilities. New content in extra mode is here. Huh. New content in extra mode is here. Go ahead and choose your next target. Alright, before I go ahead and do that, I may as well go ahead and set, say it. Call and Beck are the new characters that are actually a remake of the ver original characters, Mega Man, and, um, oh, what was the little girl's name? The little girl obviously has some real si similarities to the original Mega Man uh, female sidekick character. It's actually pretty interesting. I'm kind of wondering as to what else there is around here. Oh. The solo challenge. Attention. A new tip. New tips are added. Configure controls and tips, controls, others. Okay. New tips are All right. Quit journal. Do you All right. Well, the anyways. Yeah. Um I'm wanting to say it's like CL or something like that, that, uh, call here resembles. Alright, so, now I gotta choose my next target if you get your finger out of the way. Anyways, EX mode? 
Oh, that's extras mode. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got the city, which was my original mission. Oil platform, mighty number one, codename Pyrogen. Close range fighter robot, proficient in melee combat, possesses flames generation ability and can attack through self detonation? Okay. Mighty number two, Cryosphere. Um, amphibious robot proficient in underwater and sub-zero combat. Manipulates water and can generate ice through its cooling ability. Number three, Dynatron. Wide area tactical robot proficient in electronic welfare, warfare. Can short circuit or take over enemy robots through electrical discharge or lightning strikes through remote control at lightning rods. Number four, Seismic. Heavy duty robot proficient in military engineering. Utilizes sturdy excavation arms to break through natural terrain and demolish man made structures. Number five, Battalion. Base capturing robot specialized in mid range to long range bombardment. Utilizes a Gatling gun for crowd control and head mounted revolver for bombardment. Demonstrates high faculty to, for tactics and strategy planning. Number six, Aviator. Highly mobile robot, proficient in reconnaissance and mid-air combat. Possesses unique deformation mechanisms and demonstrates superior adaptability both to the ground and in the air. Number seven, Brandish. Assault robot, proficient in hit-and-run tactics. Possesses sword capable of cutting any substance and the mastery to wield these blades freely. So, a sword master. Counter Shade. Number eight. Logistical support robot specialized in sniping. Utilizes espionage tactics through optical camouflage and an ultra long range shooting ability through a high fidelity radar and sniper rifle. Okay. So I can definitely see how these guys uh, each have their own uniqueness to them. But I'm not going to get to them just now. But these are definitely some interesting ones. And probably a couple of them are somewhat knockoffs of the original series of Mega Man characters. Um, but as far as everything else is concerned, this is a pretty interesting version of Mega Man, and is actually pretty neat. Uh, definitely gotta get used to the dashing mechanic a bit, but other than that, I'd say it's pretty well done so far. I'd have to get more into it, but for now, that's just gonna have to be the end of this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching the very first episode of Mighty Number no. 9. And I will see you guys next time when I face on one of these challenges in the next episode. So for now, thank you everybody so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Leave a comment in the section below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care everybody!